students today quick let us quickly learn supply of money in monetary economics now money supply means the total amount of money available in an economy at a point of time there are several ways to define money but standard measures usually include currencies which are in circulation and demand deposit now the definition says that money supply means the total amount of money in an economy the total stock of money circulating in an economy is called money supply the circulating money involves like paper currencies printed notes money in the deposit account and in the form of other liquid assets now rbi calculates the four concepts of money supply in india they are also called as money aggregates of money stock measures now m1 is equal to currencies coins and demand deposits now m1 means the currency with public demand deposits in the bank example current account saving account and other deposits with rbi now m2 is equal to m1 plus saving deposits with post office banks now m2 regulates the regular banks like the time saving account recurring deposit account time deposit account here we count the post office savings now m3 is equal to m2 plus time deposit at a commercial and cooperative banks now time deposit with commercial banks like fixed deposit recurring deposit all these includes with the uh, time deposits of all commercial and cooperative banks and the fourth one is m4 is equal to m3 plus total deposits with post office so it means the post office time deposits and recurring deposit also but excludes national saving certificate etc m1 and m2 is called to be narrow money m3 and m4 is called to be broad money now there are let's see the determinants of money supply cdr cash reserve ratio it is a ratio of money held by the public in currency to that they hold in the bank deposit the currency deposit ratio shows that the amount of currency that people hold as a portion of aggregate deposit the second one is rdr it's also called to be cash reserve ratio as it is a percentage of deposit with commercial bank are required to keep as a cash according to the direction of central bank the third one is cash reserve ratio that means it is a specified minimum fraction of total deposits of the customer which commercial banks have to hold as a reserves either in cash or as a deposit with the central bank and the fourth one is statutory liquidity ratio so in india the statutory liquidity ratio is the government terms for the reserve requirements that commercial banks are required to maintain in the form of cash gold reserves reserve bank of india approved securities before providing credit to the customers thank you